All right, so yesterday we left off with looking at y equals x plus 5. We talked about how the graph shifted. In this case, the, the plus 5 at the end shifted it up 5 units. Well, today we're going to look at x plus 5 squared. And what are we doing? We're adding 5 to the length of a side. That's what we're doing. So we add the length, we add, we add the 5 to the length of each side before we square it. Think of your order of operations. So when we do that, what happens? Well, I'll go back to your graphing calculator. This is what happened yesterday. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to change it. You should do the same thing. So pause the video a second and go back and change it. Now, what happened? Well, you should notice that the parabola moved to the left. How far to the left did it move? It moved five units to the left. So right here. Okay? So now we can talk about similarities. Wait a second. It says x plus 5. Plus is a this movement. It moved that way. Well, yeah, it did move to the left, but that's actually not a, not a, uh, not a plus. Right? It's still a parabola. It still has one x-intercept. Just like, just like the parent function does. It's still a minimum because you're still coming down and going up. Okay, so still a minimum value. It did not stretch or shrink at all. All right, what's different about it? Well, gee, it shifted five units left. And why? Let's talk about why. All right. And I, hopefully you can see this over here on the board. But yesterday I put up there x minus, I put x and I'm, I'm thinking h, that's why I put up there, x minus the value of h squared or x minus the value of minus h squared. Here's the difference. Algebra always simplifies. So if algebra is simplified, if there's a plus there, the only way that there's a plus there because remember, the general form is x minus h. I had to have a minus minus. So the true value of 5 is actually negative. So it actually moved in the correct direction. It did not move in the wrong direction. Uh, what's different about here is we're going to have different y-intercepts and different x-intercepts. Okay, So that's something else. And one other thing, notice the line of symmetry up here was the same. Down here, the line of symmetry that's horrible. You're going to go like, what is that? What is that? The line of symmetry is x equals negative 5. So that's different, right? Line of symmetry divides the parabola in half. Now we move on. What about 5x squared? Okay. Well, I'm finding the area first, and then I'm multiplying by 5. So, go ahead, get rid of this one, okay? Put, put 5x squared in your calculator on Desmos and see what happens. No, seriously, go ahead, see what happens. What you should notice is you should notice this. Okay, what happened? Think rubber band. I took and I, I moved the rubber band further apart. What do we call that? We call that a stretch. It's still a parabola. If we're going to compare similarities, if it's still similar, it still has the same line of symmetry, which is at zero. Right? It's still a minimum. Right? Still has a minimum value. Um, and what, what do we compare that's different? Narrower parabola. Okay. It's going to stretch. It's got a stretch of 5. 
So those are some notable differences. And then we got one more. One more here. Last one, and we got a few things to cover. I know this is long, sorry, I'm going through this as quick as I can. Um, plug, plug in this value. So what happens here? Okay, five is, length is multiplied by five, sorry. So the length of a psi is multiplied by five. So what happens there? Go ahead, pause it, plug it in. When you paused it and plugged it in, you should notice that it's the same, but it really stretched. Well, still a parabola. Okay, that's still the same. The line of symmetry is still x equals zero. That didn't change. Still a minimum. That didn't change. What's different about it? Mush. It's a mush more. That would be much. Much more narrow than even 5x squared. So when you multiply the 5 times the x first before you squared it, that parabola just it got really super skinny. All right? So that's what happened there. A uh, couple of these down here, when we go through and we look at this, what we need to look at is what are we doing here in all of these situations, all right? Uh, I really don't want to make a part C, but the bell rang as you heard, uh, and I want to get I want to get through this as much as possible. Basically, we're looking at Y, uh, uh, A, H, and K. So when you look here at the first one, what did we do? The area is increased by two. When the area increases by two, the parentheses cause right and left movement. The k value causes up and down. So what happens here? The parabola uh, shifts up two units. That's all that happened. Shifted up two units. Okay? So right down here for b, if plus 2 shifts it up three units, b minus 3 is going to shift it down three units. Here we got to be careful, all right? For C, it's going to shift what? Which way? This is plus. It's going to shift left four units. Likewise, down here, it's going to shift right four units. A couple of the quick notables, uh, real quick. I got a, I got a couple more minutes. E. I'm going to talk about this. Make sure you get this filled in if you're watching the video. What what does the minus x squared do? Do you think? Okay, well that, that a value out there is negative. This is going to reflect over the x-axis, so your parabola is going to open down. Dawn, it opens dawn. Down. Okay, what's going to happen in f? In f, it's going to be a stretch of 2. G, g is going to be a stretch of a half. Okay? In other words, what's, what's it going to look like? Okay? It's going to look real skinny versus really wide. That's, that's a different comparison right there. H, the minus 3. What opens down? Stretch of 3. I opens down. Stretch of 1 third. So again, here's the difference between those. And then the last thing I want you to, want you to write is on the next page, and we talked about what these do. Uh, I want you to write y equals a x minus h squared plus k. I want you to think about what does a do? Write this down. Go back and re-watch re, re this if you need to. Rewind. A tells you if it stretches or shrinks, so stretches or shrinks, or opens up or down. H is that horizontal shift, so make sure you write that down. And k is the vertical shift, and we noted all of those right in here. So you should have all of this filled in as well, okay? So shifts up, x minus, shifts right, I'm going to abbreviate right. Down here it shifts 
left, y minus opens down, and a is a stretch. All right? I know that's quick, but rewind it if you need to. Make sure you get your notes taken care of and ask questions.